All right, so you know what? I got a couple emails from listeners saying that they wished that I would have put um, some video of the actual Apple TV interface and, you know, to kind of close the loop. So that's what I'm going to do today. And there's really no clean way of recording the desktop other than pointing a camera at the screen and going through it. So before I get to the actual part where uh, we look at the videos that I've loaded on my computers, I just want to show you a little bit more about Apple TV and why I, I think it's a, it's a good device for anyone who wants to have a video server because it does more than just that. So um, if you want, uh, Apple has, TV, has movies for rental and you just click here and you can see all the movies that, uh, you know, comes up, uh, their new releases, top movies, what have you. Uh, they even have high def movies for $1.99. Um, I'm expecting that the list isn't that big or the movies are probably a little bit older, but uh, they do have some for um, $1.99. And uh, so we'll go back. Uh, we'll go pick a movie that I've watched recently with the kids, Easy A. So as you'd expect, the information about the movie comes up. You can even see a, a brief preview And so, enough about that. Uh, whoops, hit the button twice. We'll go back out. You can rent it. This one particular movie is uh, $4.99. And um, if you want more information, you can click on it. So they have a Rotten Tomato, um, I guess, evaluation or rating. And they also have customer, rev customer reviews of people who've rented it and uh, given you their input. And then if you have uh, particular actors or actresses in this that you're interested in seeing other movies, you can come over and uh, find out what other movies are available um, through Apple TV for rental. Okay, so we'll go back out. Another neat thing uh, is that you can get previews for movies that are in the theaters. And there's a movie here oops, that I want to take check out. I'm using my uh, iPhone to control, that's why it seems a little bit jittery. So I wanna check out this movie, The Dilemma, and it gives you, this one actually gives you a high definition preview, which is kinda cool. The picture quality looks, uh, actually I'm pretty impressed with it. Great moments are born from great opportunity. All right, and uh, so that's movies, and what's kinda, like I said, uh, if you don't have a, a, or if you've seen all the movies that are on your server, and you're looking for something a little, uh, um, I don't know, just came out in the, in the rental market, you can come check a look at it from uh, here and uh, Apple gives you a chance to rent um, the movie, albeit at a $4.99 is a little bit high for a high definition movie rental. But if you're uh, at home and it's snowing outside and you don't wanna go out, it's not a bad way to go. So likewise, the same thing for movies they have for television shows. I won't go through the television show, but it's the same sort of process. And they have Netflix, and um, they have actually a pretty nice interface for Netflix, and it, it's like the rest of the Apple TV interface. Recently watched movies, movie genres, what have you. So we'll take a quick look at recently watched. So here's the stuff that's been on. We'll go over to Sandlot. And uh, so we can hit play. So we're doing this real time here. Uh, it takes a few seconds for it to start streaming and uh, uh, we'll resume playing. The picture's not too bad. If they give me uh, Dolby Digital Plus on uh, Netflix and give me some uh, other movies, we're gonna be <laughs> in really good shape here. But so this is kind of cool, same sort of thing. You can go check out other movies that uh, James Earl Jones is in and uh, now, let's go to Field of Dreams. And I don't know if that's uh, available through Watch It Now. I guess it is, so that's kind of cool. So you can find other movies. And that's through the Stars Play. I, I hope Netflix keeps that Stars Play and even as HBO, it, it adds a lot of movies that are worth watching. Okay, so that's uh, version you know two, uh, or uh, your second option, I should say, for watching movies on your Apple TV. So you can rent them, uh, more contemporary movies. You can uh, go into like a library with Netflix, uh, or as we did earlier, we talked about the uh, server. 
So I have two Mac minis. I have one of them that I've set up as my movie server and the other one I've set up as my TV server. And what I do with my TV server is I have bought a few programs um, through Apple TV, I bought the, or through iTunes, I bought a season pass. And uh, what ends up happening there is it just downloads the night um, after. Uh, I get high definition, 5.1 audio, so I don't have to um, put it on my um, DVR. Not that that's a big deal, but uh, it's now available on all the TVs with it, and uh, I can copy it over to my iPad, iPod. It's a pretty cool way to go and uh, have a lot of TV shows. I think I paid for season um, four of Burn Notice, I think it was $39. Um, all right, so that is that. Now what we'll do is go to the movie server. All right, so here are all the movies, uh, alphabetical. You can take a look at, at genre too. So here are the different genres that are available. So if you want, like you got something for kids, you can set up a kid genre and tell your children, here's the area that all your movies are in. Riding Giants, good movie by the way. So is um, uh, Rudy. All right, so let's just scroll down and all, all the, um, all the um, uh, album art and the uh, ID3 or the metadata, it all came through the process that, we, that I outlined in the, using the Meta Z. And um, so it's pretty cool and very easy to start a movie. You just hit play. And it, now this is going, getting it off the um, Mac mini that I have identified as my movie server. And here you go. And the cool thing about this is this is where I stopped watching the movie um, on my big screen, on my projector. I think the other night I was demoing it to some friends. And uh, so it just picks up, this is in my master bedroom that we're filming this, and uh, it just picks up right where you left off. So that's uh, the Apple TV as, a, as again, as I set it up as a video server with my own content, uh, with the content from um, uh, Apple and through Netflix. It has a pretty powerful way in one small box, easy interface that uh, even my mom can use, actually after I've set it up for her and uh, there's always something you can watch. Uh, again, if they give me applications like Hulu Plus uh, or you know Weather and, and uh, other things like that, maybe they have like a, an app uh, tab up here, uh, I think this product's really gonna take off. Also, I'm gonna say this, I uh, found a jailbreak hack that does some of that stuff. I'm exploring that and I may do another video on that in the coming weeks. So uh, that should close out the loop on uh, the Apple TV as a video server and then some. Thanks for listening or watching.